Hi, this is Jim Hensel. You're looking at a swarm trap that I hung about uh, 12 feet in a tree that's being uh, um, populated by a swarm. This trap uh, was baited with lemongrass oil. The swarm in it weighed about 2 pounds. So here I am going to install the swarm uh, out of the swarm trap into my top bar hive. The swarm trap itself is made from a sono tube, which is used to pour concrete columns uh, cut to the length of my uh, top bars and then uh, plugs of uh, oriented, strand, uh, oriented strand board or OSB were put in each end and screwed in place. The uh, top bars are held in the swarm trap in a way where it doesn't have to be perfectly level uh, and the bars won't fall out. So you'll see here as I open the tr trap that uh, um, the bees are inside there and the white uh, with red writing is actually a little plastic tab that keeps the top bars from sliding forward in the trap if I was to build this trap over again, I'd make it just a bit shorter, so I didn't need that piece. Uh, as it is, there's about two inches, the trap is about two inches too long for my top bars. So I will take the uh, retaining block out that's holding the top bars up. There are five of them in this trap. And uh, then you'll see this trap was... Uh, uh, populated by the bees on Thursday and I'm installing it on Sunday and so it's uh, a little bit surprising how much uh, work they've done in the meantime. You can see in the lower part of the trap there a white piece that uh, that's actually some comb that they've built down at the bottom. Oh and you can just start to see a couple of fingers of comb underneath that white uh, retaining plastic. Uh, but I'll take the top bars out and show you the uh, the comb. So here's the first, there are five of them, so here's the first one. Not much uh, going on with that uh, top bar. The second one has a little bit of, oh, I guess not, no comb in it. And maybe it's just these two in the middle uh, where you can see the, the uh, bees have started to build a nice little comb on the top bar. The piece hanging down there was some string. Uh, which I'll, I'll uh, remove later. And here's the fourth top bar. Again, you can see uh, quite a bit of comb building in, in a pretty short period of time. Uh, this, as I said, this trap was baited with lemongrass oil. Just a few drops. I actually just take a uh, toothpick and stick it in the lemongrass oil and then toss it into the hive, or into the trap. And uh, here I'm going to pour the rest of the bees out of the trap uh, into the into the top bar. Of course they need to get banged a little bit to get them out. As I said this hive uh, swarm weighed about two pounds. Nice, uh, nice enough size and uh, given that they were so comfortable it was a pretty easy transition to uh, uh, get them into this into this hive. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, I try to hang these swarm traps anytime I catch a swarm. I uh, hang a trap in case uh, my theory is that uh, if the bees have swarmed once in an area, there's potential that it must be an area the bees like and that others may be scouting around to swarm similarly and so I want to give them a nice place to go. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.